what's wrong with this world? Why is everybody so concerned of what I do, what I say, how I say what I say? What, did, what outfit did I wear today? Why didn't I put it up on Instagram? Why, aren't, why didn't I post that picture of me and my friends at that party? Why don't I look like a bikini model with long legs, silky hair, and t tanned glowing skin? All this leaves the question in most teenagers' minds, more specifically teenage girls, of why aren't I perfect? Why don't I look like that? Why can't I look like that? Wait a second, yes I can. If I go on a crash diet for the next six months, I can have a skinny waist like Kylie Jenner and long, perfect legs like Heidi Klum. Then I'll insure them. And if I buy that cream I saw at the store, I can have a beautiful, bodacious booty like Kim Kardashian. But I probably shouldn't tell mom what the cream I bought is for. And if all this works out, when I'm walking the streets of LA with my perfect boyfriend with a chiseled jawline, nice arms and a six pack, I'll get spotted by a Victoria's Secret scout and my life will be perfect as I get a model job and I will be amazing. Back to the hard truth of reality. Soon enough, she's stuck in a hospital bed, anorexic, blaming everything around her, including herself, for not being what today's society depicts as perfect. There are 30 million people in the U.S. alone with an eating disorder. Did you know that? What do you make of this really sad and extremely shocking story that happens every day in our self-centered generation? I had to say it. Somebody had to eventually. When I go to heaven and God is judging me, I will be asked, why didn't you say it out loud? And there will be a long pause where I try to think of some valid excuse to explain my actions. Have I sparked any thoughts on, yes, I agree, what is wrong with this lost world? And what can I do to change the mindset of that young lost girl who doesn't believe enough in herself, or that lost boy with his pants all the way to his knees that doesn't believe in anything that he does is perfect, and results in drugs and alcohol in the hope to find a way to express himself, or find an escape for his problems? What are you going to do when you walk out of this auditorium when nobody's going to listen to you or anything you say? What small thing are you going to do to change the world? And what big impact will that thing make? Thank you.